My uh, next guest starred in the TV shows Vegas, Spencer for Hire, and more recently, The Love Boat, The Next Wave. Currently, you can see him on Broadway in Chicago at the Schubert Theater. Please welcome Robert Urich. <laughs> Remember, we have to straighten this out very quickly. Sure, yeah. You filmed at my high school. Well, absolutely. I what remember was... that. How's your mom, by the way? She's good. I love your mom. She loves you. She You're loves Robert Urich. I love her, yeah. Um... <laughs> she's so horrible. She's a very cultured, educated woman, but uh, yeah. now she's my comedy prop. Yeah. Uh, she should have treated me better years ago. Um, first of all, Happy New Year. Oh, Thanks, same to you. Yeah? Everything's good? Yeah, it's, uh, I wind up on Broadway, you know, 25 years of being an actor, and I've always wanted to get to Broadway, and here I am. So that was the that... circuitous route, of course, but... Uh, Very nice. Via what... Bloomington, Akron, you know, Ohio, some Vegas. big, big places, right. Vegas, yeah. Did, uh... You, did you make any New Year's resolutions, though, at all this year? Or well, did you decide, like... Yeah, I was sort of overwhelmed by this notion of the millennium, mm -hmm. and, and I just, uh, uh, yeah... So uh, I didn't really plan anything, figuring the world was going to end, like, right. like a lot of us, you know? Right. And so when I woke up on the, on the first, I thought, gee, now I'm stuck. Now I felt obligated to sort of come up with some... So, so I came up with some things to, uh, to listen better, uh, not to be so chatty. Oh, thanks and, for stopping and, uh, by. Yeah. And so first thing I do is do a talk show, and, and yeah. then to read more, and to broaden my uh, you know, frame of reference, and so to read books in areas I, I read in this article that you should read things that you're not really interested in. And it's not easy to do. Or well, you have really, no reference. Uh, intentionally yeah. read things yeah, that you're not just, interested yeah, in. You have no interest in these areas. To broaden your brain. Like, yeah, like finance. I mean, I don't care about money. I mean, uh, you right. know, I buy, buy high, sell low. Right. And so... Um, you're doing fine. You don't yeah, need to right. read a book. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so what did you buy? What kind of books? Give, well, us, give me an know, example. For example, I, I was wandering by the, one of those big chains, you know, and I saw uh, The Life and Times of Snoop Doggy Dog, The Dog Father. Is, uh, right. Yeah. Right. And uh, it's still sitting there. Uh, <laughs> I can't even get the opening, the cover you're, you're, open. I guess you're taking you're not really into rap. I'm not into rap, no. Yeah. No. Okay. Fooled me. Uh, <laughs> And what about, what, what other books? Any other books? Talk like about repressed. The two of us <laughs> together. We could go on the road. Uh, yeah, there was another, there was a book uh, called uh, Hi God, It's Me, Margaret. <laughs> a, you did not buy I that. I bought that book. Cause... What are you talking about? <laughs> Explain what that's about to people. Well, uh, see, there, some people Please. knew. Yeah, it's, tell it's us. A, it's about a, a, a teenage girl who's um, having her first uh, menstrual cycle. <laughs> and... Fabulous you know, she Reading, thinks that's because a, of the that's, pool, a, that's a subject you're not in. <laughs> you're <studying. laughs> you're and, crazy. Yeah. And uh, she thinks she's dying because of the, you know. So Do you I, I, I wish to God that you would get snapped by a tabloid reading that on the beach, you know. <laughs> Robert Urich enjoying a good read. <laughs> Uh, hi, God, it's me, Margaret. Yeah, it's me, Margaret. Yeah. Um, you know, I gave a lot of you, you. You've done a lot of TV shows. Yes. There is one I have never asked you about, right. and I have to ask you about it. Right. You did a TV movie once sure. called Killdozer. Huge. Now, yeah. let, me, let me take you on this ride, folks. Yeah. I, was, it came out, I think it came out in 1974. Mm -hmm. So I'm this kid. I'm 11 years old, and I'm watching it, and here's the plot. It's a bunch of construction workers, right. and their bulldozer on an island. <laughs> a meteor hits the bulldozer right. and turns it into an evil killing machine. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, they like this. I think, I think minute, it's right for a, 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 a remake, a redo. Yeah. <laughs> and what I loved about it is that the bulldozer, yeah. the bulldozer went no faster than 15 miles an hour. <laughs> And you guys are on an island. All you have to do is step up like on kind of a high rock and it would just sit there and not be able to do anything. But for the whole movie, you're like, no, no. But it, it was persistent though, you see. Oh, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't quit. Yeah. Why did you do Killdozer? Well, I needed the, well, why do, I mean, some actors do things because they yeah. are challenges creatively. <laughs> this was not one of those reasons. Uh, it was for the dough. I did it for the money to pay the rent. I didn't and of course, it. but I made up things. I told my friends, I said, you know, I would say things like, you know, I've never done a movie where, I, where I've had a death scene. <laughs> so I'm doing Killdozer because I get yeah. to die in it. There's a lot of firsts in Killdozer. I've never been chased by a mutated bulldozer before. I think I should try it. It's huge. 
<laughs> it was just one of those cult films. It didn't that, go very fast. No, it go didn't in go a cave fast. and wait for it to run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was watching it. I was like 10 years old, and I'm sitting there watching it, and to no one, I just turned and went, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you know. But anyway, I just yeah. had to bring up Killdozer. Huge in video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it inspired. I think it's the reason that uh, King wrote uh, the, the one about the car that comes to life. I'm sure that was the reason. Yeah. He ripped off Killdozer. You should sue. Oh, God. Um, before we go... Uh, we, We're Dan, going already? No. Okay. I, I, no, well, once you okay. do Killdozer, how can you sure. top that? <laughs> sure. It wasn't You're right. It wasn't a time issue. It was just no. like... Once Happy we, New Year. No, no. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, just to tell, tell me briefly, I, I yeah. watched Vegas all the time sure. when I was growing up. I watched, uh, I watched you so as Dan. in your high school, too. Uh, no, that was Spencer. That's oh, right. you never answered that question. What was yeah. the episode about? Oh, it was about a principal selling uh, girls into servitude. <laughs> I remember the plot of all the shows. All the shows I did. Yeah, I can't was, believe yeah. I went to that high school. Oh, yes. Where yeah. was this going on? Yeah, the administrators were... I was such a nerd, I probably... It was going yeah. on right underneath my nose. Getting girls who were having, you know, sort of, you know, emotional problems, like the character you played in your movie, and, and then sort of blackmailing them into sort of selling them to older... <laughs> gentlemen who... We get one guy... We, like I'm a, glad we can always get someone to cheer white slavery. <laughs> always a sign of... The people we're reaching out to here on the TV show. Ow! White slavery, yeah! Uh, well, you're, at, you're doing Chicago right That's now right. at the yeah. Schubert Theater yes. in New York City, and the stage production of Killdozer, I believe, yeah. is going to be in a performance space. That's right. We're, we're doing a little thing at the, the Lincoln Center. Lincoln uh, Center, yeah. all right. Yeah. Robert, uh, it's always very cool to have you here. Thanks for doing it. Robert Yurick, everybody. Stick around. we got the Upright Citizens Brigade coming up.